democratic protests have erupted in parts of Kenya. We live in hard times for democracy. Although more elections are being held than ever before, in many countries, the ability of citizens to speak their minds and hold their governments to account is under threat. Controversies about the outcome of elections are also a major concern. I'm Nick Cheeseman, a professor at the University of Birmingham's Department for International Development. With colleagues Susan Dodsworth, Gabrielle Lynch and Justin Willis, I've spent the last 10 years researching how we can better support civil society groups to achieve their goal of strengthening government accountability, members of parliament to enable them to make more effective laws, and electoral commissions to hold better quality elections. So I think a lot of the project really is inspired by my experience at the Kenyan elections in 2007. It was a really controversial election. In the wake of the election, there was conflict and over a thousand people died, 600,000 people were displaced. And that's kind of really the birth of this project on how can we reduce election risks. Polls are underway in Ghana's presidential elections. Over the last 10 years, we've conducted surveys of more than 8,000 respondents in Kenya, Ghana and Uganda to better understand how ordinary citizens experience elections. And we've interviewed more than a thousand people in a range of countries, from Armenia to Zimbabwe. One of the really difficult things about democracy assistance is that sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, and if you do want to change things, if you want to make an impact, sometimes you have to take risks. So it's really important to know which risks are worth taking and to be able to back that up with research. Our findings show that the average quality of elections are worryingly low, especially in new democracies, and that the way elections are manipulated is becoming more sophisticated. Our response was to work with partners at African universities to pioneer a new approach which we call deep election monitoring, where we fuse international expertise and grassroots knowledge to develop a better sense of the risks around elections well before polling day. It has come to be seen as a model of best practice and different versions have been implemented in countries like Ethiopia and Nigeria. We brought in the DFID Research Hub funded panel of external experts in Kenyan politics from the UK and from Kenya and we worked with them throughout the electoral period. We brought them in to challenge us, we discussed the key issues with them, we asked them what was the probability of different things happening, what was the evidence for some of the risks that were coming up. How are people going to react to different policy approaches by the British government? And by doing that, we challenged ourselves, we kept ourselves fresh, and I think we made a better impact than we would have done without that research and that expertise. We have also worked with the Westminster Foundation for Democracy, the UK's main organisation for supporting democracy around the world, to enhance its impact and deliver better value for money. Nick and his team have made an absolutely fundamental difference to the way that we approach our work. He and his team are able to bridge between the academic world and the policy makers world. They have connections on the ground in many countries and Susan and others have come in and understood our programs, uh, learned I think from us about the day-to-day -day challenges that our partners face and been able to tailor some of the research so that they can actually take practical steps to change what's happening in their country. Our work has helped the UK to provide more effective support to democratic institutions around the globe, helping to support our partners to build more effective and stable systems of government.